up at age eight, six, six, seven, eight, nine, they're getting taught to use a single password. You're yeah. not getting taught to use a password vault. Because it's easy. Because it's easy. Yeah, because you won't forget that one thing and it's probably a dog's name. And it's, <laughs> and it's the Michael McIntyre sketch, right? Have you seen that on YouTube? Well, I haven't, no. He talks about, you know, you, you get told to make your one password in school and you know, you go, oh, well, I've got my password and you type in the word password. And then eventually they go, actually, you need to put a capital on that. You go, well, hell, I've got this in hand. <laughs> Shift P, password. So suddenly you've got the word password with a capital. Oh, when well, you need to put a number on that too. Password one comes about. And then the next thing you need to put a symbol, password one exclamation mark. And you are the happiest camper in the world. Don't use that one, most common password in the world. <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> that's, that's top five. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Don't use these. No. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, do not use this these. is not security <laughs> not <use> passwords. <laughs> I um, think that comes to the second segment um, about the, the secure in seconds or the secure framework. Um, tell us a bit about uh, the, the, the secure framework and what was the goal behind that and um, how do you try to reach um, and who do you try to reach with that? Basically? Yeah, yeah. So, you know, you, you see a whole bunch of things about acronyms and, um, and you know, like slogans capturing people's attention and being memorable. And so the idea of going secure was to, to give it to a layman, think of something that you want to be, you want to be secure, well how are you going to get there? So, you know, you scan for threats, you enable MFA, you control the access for it, I've forgotten what U is, which is always great, 